How's it, Grasshopper? Today's uh, trigger time is uh, mounting the camera in the car for the uh, moving pictures. First of all, um, you need a um, heavy duty um, tripod. And um, first method is to, uh, if you don't have any uh, passengers in your car, then put them in the uh, passenger side. This has been used before so that I have uh, markings on it for repeatability. With the seat, um, passenger seat all the way to the rear, and then you, um, I'll put the uh, the legs, tripod legs, onto the seat mount, so that will brace it. And after this is centered, then I will um, bring up the uh, passenger seat front to uh, tight against the legs. This way, um, these legs. Is immobile. It can't move. And again, uh, as you can see here, I put a piece of um, styrofoam so that the, it won't scratch the, um, the dashboard. Uh, now, bring this um, center post up. Again, I have a marking right here for the passenger side to make sure that the uh, you have a clear view of your uh, rear view mirror that uh, this um, handle here is not blocking the, your uh, rear view mirror for safety purposes. Second method is um, a tripod in the uh, center of the console. And if you want to use uh, zip ties, you need um, at least uh, two paper clamps and uh, one eighth of an inch um, zip ties and a medium sized zip ties. So this is the uh, how it goes from the legs. You have to do uh, all three legs and then also you have to do the center. Also I cut the um, center post but when I'm not in use that is not my way driving but I, I can shift any problem at all. Also I cut the, uh, this um, elevation adjustment because as I was driving make sure that you mark um, mark everything mark the um, settings so that the um, your video is um, consistent. Um, again uh, the zip tie method will work, and uh, if uh, if you um, the best example that I can uh, give you is um, second uh, journey to the west on the Arches National Park. I have set this um, tripod using the zip ties. However, there was a bigger idiot than me driving on the highway, slammed the brake when I did when <laughs> I had to do the same. And I did that, and this camera moved uh, forward. Uh, it didn't uh, hit the windshield or break anything, but that caused me to, uh, enough for me to permanently mount a uh, screw through uh, all three of them. And uh, this is how I uh, will be. Um, also, uh, you see that uh, this camera is leaning a little bit toward me. It's because um, last journey to the west, Betsy was uh, facing all the way out to the front, and she got burned. I mean, she got she had a suntan. The rear view mirror is um, uh, blocking some of the uh, will be blocking some of the sunlight for my Betsy. Okay, another thing is this. There's a uh, 20 plus states have passed distraction law. What that mean is. You cannot mount GPS, cell phone, or anything in a windshield or rear view mirror. And then there's a 40 plus states passed law. Yes, this is the year of the monkey, the uh, Sonugong. You cannot use your cell
cell phone and texting while you're driving. So uh, I consider that this is the most um, uh, safe way. Again, now if you uh, use the uh, first method to install the uh, camera on the passenger side, you gotta have a long arm to reach to press the record button for NX1. And if you are using NX500, which it will be right here. So that's another thing you, you uh, need to consider. If you're driving and you, you need to press the uh, record button. Other than that, um, this is my uh, uh, permanent method here. We'll see you uh, next time.